Hey everyone, the Mafia 306 here with uh, part 3, which is more of just an, an addendum video to the uh, multiplying large numbers and squaring large numbers in your head video series. Uh, just a couple of things that I forgot to mention or didn't have time to. Uh, if you've watched the first two videos in the series, then you already know the method for uh, squaring large numbers in your head. Um, but I wanted to show a couple of more examples of how that could work really quickly. Uh, suppose that we've got 41 times 41. You can still use the method. Uh, here, your base would be 40. So, we are one away from our base of 40, so we double the distance, we get 2. And then we add that back to our base, get 42. And then since our base is 40, we multiply by 4. Whatever the first number is here is whatever you multiply by. So 42 times 4 is 168. And then, so 168 is the first part of your answer. And then 1 squared is just 1. So tack it on, and there's the answer. So this method is not just restricted to three-digit numbers. Now, on the flip side, it's not restricted to three-digit numbers in the sense that this can be used for numbers larger than uh, 1,000. So let's just look at 1,001 times 1,001. And I'm keeping these numbers simple just you know, for the sake of demonstration. I don't want to um, do really, really big, crazy numbers like 4,561 squared because that would... Honestly, it would take more than one whiteboard anyway. So, uh, and plus, you would have to be able to do 561 squared on the fly, which, um, forget it. <laughs> I'm I'm not that good. So, uh, 1001 times 1001. So here our base is 1000. So, take our distance from our base. In this case, one. Double it, we get two. So we tack this back onto our base, so we get 1,002. Now this number, since our base is 1,000, we look at the first two numbers here to see what we multiply by. So we're going to multiply this by 10, actually. So we get 10020, and we multiply by 10. And then 1 squared is just 1, so Back it on to the end. So we get that our answer is 1001 squared is 1,002,001. And that makes sense because 1,000 squared is 1 million, so we would expect this to be a little bit bigger. Um, let me just do it again here really quick. Let's do 2003 times 2003. So here our base is 2,000. So our number here is 3 away from our base. So we're going to double that distance and we get 6. We're going to add 6 back to our base. So we get 2006. Now we're going to take this number and we're going to multiply it by 20 because our base is 2000. So 2006 times 20 is going to be 4120. Four, and yeah, 40,120. And now we look at 3 squared. So 3 squared is 9. Tack it on to the end. So our answer is 4,012,009. And so on and so forth. It's just the math gets really complicated once you start going away from the bases. Like, just let me, let me kind of show you an example real quick. If you wanted to do, well, let, let's say, let's say if you wanted to do 1,319 times 1,319, you could do that using the method, but the math is not very friendly at all because your base here is going to be 1,300. So you look at your distance from your base, 19, and you double it. So 19 times 2 is 38. Sorry, I'm getting messages on Skype. Uh, 38. So you take 38 and you add it to your base. 
So you get 13 and 38. Now, since your base is 1300, you have to be able to multiply this by 13 in your head, which is not very easy to do. So I'm not going to do it right now just because honestly I don't feel like it. Um, I could figure out um, you know, if I really wanted to, but it's not. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and then you'd have to be able to square 19 and tack it onto the end and figure out if you needed to move digits around and so forth. So it's really just not worth it. So, but that explains how you can do that. Uh, one other application of this method that I wanted to show you is uh, this. It, you don't have to do this just for whole numbers. You could easily do this for decimals. Um, when we did, uh, I'll just pick one at random, um, 2.13 times 2.13. When we did that, um, we did it with whole numbers. We could do this with 21.3 times 21.3. We could do this 2.13 times 2.13. We could do, you know, whatever. Uh, we can't do, however, 21.3 times 2.13 because this isn't a square. It has to be a square number. You have to be squaring, so that doesn't work. So let's just do 2.13 times 2.13. So you approximate it, or well, I say you approximate it, you figure it out by turning it into whole numbers and then sticking in the decimal place where it needs to go. So 213 times 213, uh, base is 200, so we are 13 away from our base, double the distance, you get 226. Now 226, base of 200, so you multiply by 2, you get 452. So 452, and then you look at 13 squared. 13 squared is 169, so you get 4, 5, 3, 6, 9 as your answer, but if you're multiplying the two decimals together, 2.13 times 2.13, then you've got one, two, three, four digits after the decimal place, so you need four digits after the decimal place here, so you get 4.5369, and there's your answer. So, thank you for watching. If you guys want to see this done anymore, or uh, if you want other uh, mental math tricks explain, you know, send me a, a message or a comment, uh, and I will start making some videos on calculus, and uh, I'll also do some differential equations, some, uh, what else, I'll do some probabilities, some statistics, um, basically just anything that you guys want, group theory, you know, you name it, I'll, I'll make a video on it for you guys, so, uh, thank you guys for watching, and take care.